up, everybody? So, um, today we're starting the next build, or rather the, ne the next build video. And in this video, I'm building the new lathe uh, frame. And the idea is that first I'm going to make the frame and it's going to be manual. And when all the parts are done, the spindle, the and it works, and it, it's perfectly uh, dialed in, I'm going to make it a CNC conversion. But it should allow me to use it also as a manual machine in case I need to do one part or something like that. But um, I decided to make the frame out of a, a rectangular tube and it's uh, 100 millimeters times 40 millimeters times three and a half millimeters. So, and the uh, frame dimension the dimensions are, it's, 650 millimeters long from end to end and it's 225 millimeters wide so it's gonna be a relatively sorry it's 700 millimeters long and 225 millimeters wide so it's gonna be a re relatively small uh, lathe but um, I don't really do any big work and most of the work that I have coming up within probably the next year or so is gonna be relatively small, um, probably never m more in the diameter of six inches, but it has to be very, um, very precise, very accurate. So I'm building it in a way that I have the frame, and on top of it, I'm gonna weld two uh, uh, pretty big uh, flat pieces of. Uh, of strip steel and the strip steel is 65 times 15 millimeters so it's it's a pretty big and fat piece and, and thick piece and it gives um, a little bit of strength but also it gives a nice mounting surface for the rails now the rails are um, Highwind HGR uh, 15 rails and uh, the carriage are, carriages are HGH15CA, uh, which means uh, no preload and regular accuracy. And the main reason I'm using those is because those, were, th those are the ones that have been left over from a previous project. And basically, I got them for free. Right. So... As you can see, I'm making the frame in a way where in the front I have two 45 degree cuts and both of the back sides are open. Now this is actually by design and once the frame has been completely manufactured and all the rails are on top of, uh, are in it and and I mean the, the, the cuts are straight and everything is dialed in and even after the, the frame is painted I'm going to uh, fill those tubes with epoxy granite so it's gonna add a lot in terms of the dampening quality but in addition to uh, dampening it gives it a little bit of uh, weight and a little bit of extra stiffness now I can already say from uh, from because I'm a bit more ahead in terms of the um, of the video because the video is from actually from June and we're currently in July and what happened is I, I sort of predicted that it would do it but not to the extent that it happened is that when I welded the big um, steel strips that you can see on the uh, lower middle uh, screen it still bent the frame Ju just 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 behind the, the the rail part is surprisingly flat but right behind where i have the plates for the headstock the headstock mounting plates right behind that there are there is a small sort of bend and the whole frame is tilted upwards so over about 
150, 200 millimeters, it's off about a millimeter. So my idea was that I'm go I've already done some preliminary work, but I'm gonna stick it in the milling machine. I'm gonna mill the rails, uh, the, the rail slots. I'm gonna mount the rails, and then I'm gonna flip it over onto the rails. Hopefully, hopefully it won't do anything to the rail, but I'm gonna take some precautions. And I'm gonna mill the underside just a little bit so I have a true determined um, face which I can use to set it up in the mill in the future. And I can also set it up on the, on the bench that I made for it. So that guarantees that my machine is level and flat to the table surface. And even though the, the rear is sticking up one millimeter, it's not the end of the world. And um, as you can see, I'm rocking it back and forth a little bit, but to be completely honest, it's not really the, the frame that's crooked. It's more the, um, the, the workbenches at the workshop that I used. They, <laughs> they're far from being square, I'll put it that way. So um, eventually when I finished the frame and I checked it in my sort of own workshop, it was actually surprisingly flat. So um, it distorted a lot, a lot less in terms of, uh, in terms of what I expected. But um, I'm going to let you enjoy the, the, the rest of the video, it's only a few, few more minutes. And the next video will hopefully be up in the next week or so. And then it's going to take um, probably a few weeks and then I should be able to show a little bit more on the, uh, on the mill. Uh, but just as a last thing, um, I'm planning on making the, the headstock out of uh, epoxy granite and it's going to be pretty heavy, it's going to be about uh, 19 kilos for just the headstock alone and it's a pretty small headstock but hopefully it's going to dampen vibrations really well and um, it'll be nice and strong. Alright, so um, I'm going to leave you off for now. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like the video, leave me a few comment. Leave, leave me a comment and uh, and uh, give me a, give me some su suggestions or feedback. All right, thanks again for watching and and uh, have a nice weekend. All right, bye bye.